and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Butterfly, but you can call me Fly. And that is right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here on Black Ops Cold War here for this COD Wednesday because I guess it's free to play. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into some Outbreak here. I've never really played it and I guess here with this year's Call of Duty MW3, we're gonna have an Outbreak mode. So I figured I'd go ahead and give it a shot finally since it's gonna be the Zombies mode for this year and since Cold War is free to play now. Now, honestly, I keep saying that Cold War is free to play, but I really don't know a ton about how it's free to play, I guess, with like PlayStation Plus. If you're a PlayStation Plus user or whatever, you can go ahead and download it for free throughout the entire month of July. And other than that, I really don't know if it's like free for Xbox players or anything like that. But as far as I know, PlayStation Plus users users can get it free to play throughout all of July. And I know it's kind of crazy. I never have played Outbreak. I never just, I, I simply never really got into it. It's something that I played for maybe like two minutes whenever it first came out. And after that, I just didn't really care for it. I, I'm more of like a round based zombies kind of guy. So I don't necessarily care for this whole open world sandbox ish sort of zombies. I forgot how good looking Cold War is. This is such a good looking Call of Duty. I really don't know a single thing about Outbreak, so I, I could be doing nothing but nonsense this entire time. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I do really like that it's kind of sunny. We don't really get too many sunny sort of zombies maps, and I just like being able to see everything and it not being so dark and I don't know. It, it's something about being able to play a sunny version of a zombies game mode that just hits a little bit different. That's kind of why my favorite map on this game is D-Machine. Zombie's head, specimen. What do I gotta do with this? What? Oh, I gotta place it up there. I can barely run. This is like the bomb part of the Easter egg over on D-Machine. I assume that red bar over on the left underneath the minimap is the health on this thing, and I'm doing terribly. I failed. Oh, that's it? Just like that? Outbreak just isn't for me. I, I don't really enjoy this. I don't know exactly what I'm to be doing or what's going on. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and hop into D-Machine here. So it's a nice, calm, round-based zombies. We could just go ahead and complete the Easter egg here, and I, I could just chill. Now, the other reason I wanted to go ahead and hop into Cold War here is because MW2 just isn't hidden for me recently. Season 4 hit. I've played maybe like 20 matches total of shipment. Kind of hitting that point with... How most Call of Duties work, at least for me, where I just want to play other things. I ended up getting the Battle Pass, and I have not played enough to go ahead and complete it. So I pop into that Bondo Lockdown Quads or whatever it is, and I can just sit there and let it go, and I get Battle Pass tokens, so I can actually complete my Battle Pass and not let it go to waste. This map is actually the first Zombies Easter Egg that I've actually completed. I've never gone ahead and completed a Zombies Easter Egg on like Black Ops 3 or any of that. None of those other Easter Eggs on any of the other maps. This is the only map that I've actually fully beat the Easter Egg. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it kind of guides you. It kind of tells you what you're to be doing. And from there, I just got to the point where I was like, you know what, I, I guess I'll just go ahead and complete the Easter Egg. See what round I could go ahead and get to where I actually complete it. I don't normally do this too often, but it is pretty early. I could speed them up a little bit, kind of speed up the process to get some points so I can buy the doors, get to pack a punch. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I honestly like to go ahead and buy this door, even though it's kind of in the corner. I like to buy this because I like to train over here near the bunny door. I like to just train in this nice open little spot here, which is kind of funny because I used to never really be someone that trains zombies. I normally like to just sit in one spot and kind of camp it out and just let the zombies come to me. But something about this map, I just like to sit here and run around this little area and just keep on training them. I guess a good example of a map that I primarily like to go ahead and camp on would be Buried back on Black Ops 2. I just love sitting there inside a jug and just letting them funnel down the long tunnel and going ahead and just aiming right at their heads and just mowing them down. It's also really cool that this game had mantling and everything. You could just jump over whatever. It's such a time saver on certain parts and it's just so convenient to be able to just hop over whatever. Just like that right there. I don't have to find the stairs, walk all the way around. It's just nice and conveniently right there. Just hop right up and over. I think we'll go ahead and try to beat the Easter egg here. Try to complete the Easter egg. 
for this video or i'll just get to a certain round and excel or something and like i said with mw2 just recently it hasn't really been hidden for me so what i have been playing is actually save the world over on fortnite recently a lot never really got into it too much in the early days of save the world whenever it first became a thing and honestly ever since i haven't really gotten into it but recently i've gone ahead played it the past couple of days here and there a little bit and i'm really enjoying it it's especially nice whenever you have certain challenges to go ahead and complete and you don't actually have to really be doing them yourself if you go ahead and hop in games where there's other people in there a lot of the times they're doing so much that they're honestly completing your challenges for you really like i just had a challenge where i had to save 50 survivors or something like that and i just hopped into one game and by the end of it i already had 42 of the 50 done. I always forget exactly what I'm to be doing here. I gotta get that piece for the Pack-A-Punch, but I also have another piece that I normally get at this point. I think it's over here underneath the plane. It's like a little box where you get a fuse or something. That, yep. We gotta head all the way over to the Aether Tunnel. And we gotta run all the way back. We gotta go ahead, shoot all these little bulbs all over the place. There's one up there. Oh, I missed it. This is the beauty of having a shotgun, apparently. All right, let's see if I can get it now. Nice. And then there's one over here. I think there's like five of them. And then you gotta get this one over here. Oh wait, now it's a reflection, there we go. Right there. And then I believe one under the steps down here. Yep. Do 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 boom boom ba dum bum bum ba bum ba da ba dum kind of forgot about that i could have just gotten a free jug from that okay can't forget with this guy we got to get this little thing glowing all right shoot me nice okay that's ready for the beaker we go ahead and place the beaker under that then we can go ahead and get some serum for the one box to get one of the elements for the wonder weapon all right i gotta take this thing down it's gonna cause too much of a mess for me and i need that key card plop the key card in so we can try to get the die train these guys up for a bit and we'll take them in there and get the die machine or however you may want to say it i normally call it the die but for some reason i keep sitting here saying die i think it's just because the game's saying it oh of course the one time i take the shot is whenever the shatter blast actually does its thing Oh, it's gotta be done. Maybe. Oh wait, discharge, that's right. There we go. Oh. There we go. Come on, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Oh my gosh, it took... Why did the animation need to take ages to go ahead and activate? Let's get this piece. Beautiful, got that part. And we need to go ahead and just shoot that. Wait. There we go. Now we'll get this part. Did I get it? Nice. Place the beaker under the tree. Wait, what? Why can't I do that yet? I must not have picked it up. There we go. The flask. And then I think I go ahead and put this on the one down near speed. And that's where the icy one is. I don't even remember the name of these cryogenic liquid now this is where i need to go ahead and get the aether scope i believe there's a part over on the staircase and it is nice there it is beautiful last part for the aether scope i got like 15 dogs chasing after me holy smokes holy cow i basically have a whole dog round after me Holy smokes. This is more intense than a dog round, honestly. Whenever I think of dog rounds, this is what I think should happen. Not have like one or two come after you at a time. They should just all flood after you. Treat it like a regular zombies round. Oh, that would have been so... That's what I normally do. After having all the dogs chase after me, I normally put the canister on the wall near Deadshot Daiquiri and then use these dogs from all of this happening to go ahead and fill up that canister. I forgot to get another self-revive, so if I go down, it's game over. That should be good. Normally only takes like one dog, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there we go. Now this one goes on the little case out near Juggernog. Over here. 
beautiful. And then you gotta shoot it to go ahead and break the vines on it. Oh, that's right. I gotta do this thing for the Aether Scope to go ahead and get the next steps going. Wait, pet? I can pet him? That's funny. I did not know that you could go ahead and do that. Now I'll take advantage of only having one zombie and go ahead and try to get the book step done. Do that. Let me go ahead. Go ahead, give this guy the book. Oh, I don't have it. It's upstairs, I think, actually. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we got to take Dr. Vogel's diary. Give that to him. Oh, wait, never mind. I don't have to wait for him to stop talking. I just go to the next. It's over here. Yep. Give him the book. Bam. And then we run down here by the Aether Scope spot. And boom. And that's it. And I think we have to wait for the anomaly thing to appear like right here. And that's the one that'll allow me to go ahead and get the one thing over here done. This one. So let's see. There's the password, that's good to go. And then all we need is the final two elements so we can go ahead and shoot all these, which actually, I guess I could switch to this one right now. There it is. I was gonna say, I thought it was that one. Gotta put this back and get the regular shockwave. Let's snag this one. Boom, boom. Yep, so now we have the one light and there's two lights left. So yeah, we do need two more charge shots. Let's see if another anomaly is available somewhere. Yep, there we go. I think since this one spawned here, this box thing should be available. I think that's how you determine which ones you're able to go ahead and do. Since that anomaly spawned near that truck, we can go ahead. Yeah, now we can do the plasma cutter step. So we activate that. And then whenever we go back to the regular version, whenever this whole teleportation thing is done, we can go ahead and head back over to that truck and that one element will be available. And then we need to go ahead and do this anomaly. Yeah, since this anomaly is near this other box, now we can go ahead and do the crystal thing. Wait, I gotta shoot this so I can suck it. Bam. Boom. There's that one. And the last one that should be available is the one over here near Quick Revive. If I'm not mistaken, go around here. And there it is. Boom. And then, boom. This one's actually my favorite, the Electro Bolt. Leave that one. Yep. And then we gotta go over to the Nova 5 one. I'll grab that. So there's that. Now let's head out to the truck. And there we go. Well, it's a dog round. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this next anomaly, which should be the little bomb thing where we gotta go ahead and get the wrench. Go up here, we gotta activate an anomaly thing here. Bam. Then this is how we get that little wrench thing that we gotta bang on the tank with. All right, then we got the Dark Aether wrench. Now we gotta do this. Got to bang on this a couple times so the zombie pops out. And we got to blow that guy up. I think we got to do it twice. Oh, snap. I need another Semtex. I missed it. Semtex. Boom. Okay. I'll try this again. There we go. That should work. Did that work? Yep, there we go. Now the tank blew up. One zombie left. We go up here. Grab that. Of course, all these dogs spawn, but who cares about them? All right. And... Boom, there we go. So now we gotta wait for no another one of those Megatron things to get over here. All right, round's finally dead a little bit. We got two of the blasters there from one Megatron. All we gotta do is get these things inside the capsule and we're on with the Easter egg. One at a time, one at a time. Nice orderly fashion. There we go, there's one. Beautiful. And then get this other one over here. Boom, let's go, finally. Now all we gotta do, hop in here, activate that, that ends round actually. And we have like a little lockdown thing. I don't remember if zombies show up at this point. And now they're fusing together. They turn into one guy, one big Megaton again. Boom, go run off. And then we gotta go get another anomaly going and then get a little picture thing. And then that's whenever we activate the boss fight. So we head over here, gotta activate this one. Then we gotta head back through here. And then over here, activate this. And then whenever we go back to the real world, we're out of the Aether here. There should be a photo on the table in there. Yep, 
Orlov's family photo, and we gotta head down in there and give this to the guy, and then this is where we activate the boss fight. Got the family photo in hand, he's reminiscing. Imagine all the zombies look like this. I think zombies would be a little bit more terrifying if they towered over us and they were big and buff like this. Yeah, that's why a sentry turret would be nice. You just set it up right beside the guy and you're good to go. For the most part. Of course, you still have to take care of some of the zombies that are surrounding him, but for the most part, you're just good. If I throw another monkey here, it's gonna suck because I won't have a max ammo to replenish anything, and I doubt that I'll get the drops for another monkey, but there we go. Yep, I'll just get Tombstone, maybe. Try to protect this guy. I just ended it. Wow. I've never actually used Tombstone in this game. I forget how Tombstone operates. We were that close to completing the Easter egg, and there we go. We ended up dying on round 42 during the Easter egg. But that's it. That All you do is just protect that guy for like three different waves of zombies, and you're good to go. That's it. Came over, you completed the Easter egg, but I failed. And really quick for those individuals that want to go ahead and try this whole bundle lockdown thing to get battle pass tokens without even having to play, you just want to hop in here to bundle lockdown quads. Make sure in the bottom left you have squad fill off. And then you also want to hop in here to your advanced controller settings or wherever you can go ahead and find the setting to go ahead and turn off auto parachute deploy because you're just going to be falling to the ground repeatedly over and over and over again so then from there all you do is just start it up you hop right in and then you can go ahead do whatever you please go take a shower run to the store or something really quick whatever the case may be you can go ahead and just let this run and probably should just kind of keep an eye on it here and there because whenever i do this it would kind of have some sort of playlist update or it would just disconnect me sometimes so i'd have to go ahead restart it jump back in so yeah there is how you do that i honestly don't take credit for any of that i didn't find that myself i just kind of came across a little clip I think it was on like YouTube shorts or a TikTok clip or something like that that I saw and they just showed me how to do it exactly like that and I just went ahead and did it and I've been doing it for the past like week so I don't take credit for it I don't remember who I saw that went ahead and showed how to do this but if I could go ahead and figure it out I'll put their information down in the description or I'll put their information on the screen or something like that so you guys can go ahead go give them a follow but yeah I don't take credit for any of this just kind of wanted to go ahead and show you guys so in case maybe you guys are kind of dying out with the whole mw2 thing you can go ahead and still get your battle pass if you were like me and purchased it and then didn't really play this season either way though hope you guys did enjoy this one and with that peace out monarch militia and as always spread love radiate positivity and try to smile see you